In this example, we have a VSP modulator which is shown in figure A, where we have a message signal M of T and we have a local oscillator that is cos omega CT, then a multiplier and output of the multiplier is S of T, which is M of T into cos omega CT and afterwards we have a vestigial sideband filter that is H U of omega and finally we have a modulated signal that is phi VSB of T. So on the right side we have the magnitude response of the vestigial sideband filter which starts at 0.9 mega radians per second and then until 1.1 mega radians per second it is having a linear slope and after that we have a constant value of 1. So the messy signal m of t is mentioned over here which is 4 cos omega mt and the carrier is cos omega ct where omega c is 1 into 10 raised to power 6 radians per second whereas omega m is 0 0.05 into 10 raised to power 6 radians per second. So we are asked to plot the spectrum of phi VSP of t and later on we are asked to do the construction of coherent demodulator and plotting the spectrum of low pass filter which is used therein. So let us look into the first part that is part A and let us reconstruct this block diagram of VSP modulator. Over here M of T is simply 4 cos omega MT and its spectrum is over here which is M of omega which has two spikes or two delta functions. The first one is at 0.05 into 10 to the power 6 and another one is at minus 0.05 into 10 to the power 6. Note that this construction is straightforward and we have to use the Euler's identity to achieve this. That is we have 4 cos omega t equal to 2 e j omega mt plus 2 e minus j omega mt. So next we have cos omega ct which is operating at 1 into 10 raised to power 6 radians per second. So hence this s of T is simply message signal m of t multiplied by cos omega ct. So where we have heterodyned the message signal to a higher frequency that is at omega c. So note that this is the spectrum that is s of omega and all of this m of omega is shifted to omega c heterodyned towards the right and towards the left that is the negative frequency. So on the left side we have minus omega c plus omega m minus omega c minus omega m and in the middle we have minus omega c and we would have the same spikes the delta functions each of which have a strength of 1. So this is our s of omega at this point. Next this vestigial sideband filter is already given the question so that is drawn over here this vestigial sideband filter starts at 0.9 mega radians per second but right now this s of omega this has a delta function at 0.95 and another delta function at 1.05 that is somewhere over here and over here so since this is a linear line this is 0 0.9 0 0.95 1 1.05 and finally 1.1 on the y-axis at 1.1 we have 1 at 0 0.9 we have 0 and in between we have 0 0.25 0 0.5 and the terminal value is 1 so the first delta function would multiply with the value at 0 0.95 in h u of omega which is 0 0.25 and the second delta function which is at 1.05 over here which is having a gain of 0 0.75 it is being multiplied with the delta function of having strength 1 that is at omega c plus omega m so hence multiplication of these two delta functions would yield the spectrum of phi vsb of omega so hence at 0 0.95 we have a multiplication of 0.25 so this would yield a 0 0.25 and at 1.05 we have 0 0.75 so that would yield a 0 0.75 
so this concludes the first part of the question that dealt with the plotting of spectrum that is phi s v of t so second part is constructing a coherent demodulator that is we have to show a demodulator block and then we have to plot the spectrum of low pass filter used therein so the block diagram is that we have a receive antenna rx because this is coherent or synchronous we multiply it with the local carrier that we have used at the transmit site afterwards we have a low pass filter and finally we would have the message signal which we desire now in the question we are asked to design this low pass filter and we know that this low pass filter is linked with vestigial sideband filter shown over here and the relationship is expressed over here that is we have 1 over h u omega plus omega c plus h u of omega minus omega c wherein the range of this filter we have absolute value of omega which should be less than or equal to 2 pi omega m note that omega m is 0 0.05 mega radians per second now over here just looking into the denominator aspect we have plotted h of u omega plus omega c plus h of u omega minus omega c this part is represented over here that is this spectrum has been shifted or advanced to the left side and similarly for the negative part of h of u omega we have delayed version towards the right side and that delayed version is shown over here which is h of u omega minus omega c so note that h of u omega plus omega c it would start from minus 0.1 mega radians per second and then we have an increasing slope until it touches 1 at 0.1 radians per second and similarly the second term has a maximum value at minus 0.1 mega radians per second and it, and the minimum value is at 0.1 mega radians per second so the first curve is linearly decreasing whereas the second is linearly increasing so in this range we would always have a 1 if we add these two uh, these two terms so hence by summing up all of these we would have a simply 1 across the omega range or at least in this range that is uh, the absolute value of omega is less than 2 pi omega m and finally we have to invert it so we have to invert the latest plot and hence we have this final plot because we have a value 1 so we have 1 by 1 that would be unchanged and this is the range for this low pass filter